What is up, everybody? Sword Kingdom Key 3 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for the Switch. Last time. Oh my god. The freaking feels hit me last time, dude. In case you missed it, I don't want to spoil what happened, just in case you missed it, but... I'm assuming you've already left if you know what happened, but... If you didn't know what happened, I'm, assu I'm assuming you left to go watch the last episode. But, if you didn't- if you missed last episode, but you're caught up on the game, what happened was, Floofin- Oh my god, we went to fight Torna, look for Pyra, and then Vandom was like- Dude, Van Vandom went in on Torna, alright? He was like, I'm gonna show you this new lesson, control the ether, let it flow through you. This man, Vandom, like, went all in on these dudes, and he lost his life. It was so terrible. <sighs> um, yeah, and then Pyra- Pyra's, I guess, true form was revealed? Mithra? Or Mithra. And, yeah, that's a thing. She went Super Saiyan. <laughs> Her hair literally turned gold and she became so overpowered. Anyway, now let's get back to Xenoblade 2. Um, yeah. But, uh, I got nothing else to say. We ended the last episode at the end of Chapter 3, so we're gonna start this one off with some cutscenes. So let's see what's going on today. You know, eventually when it loads, of course. <laughs> Here we go. Chapter 4, Aegis. Oh, Fluth! Oh, jeez! What the heck is this? Dudes! Oh my god. What are we witnessing? Um... Oh, shoot. That looked like Mithra to me. Floof, dude! Were they showing us the destruction the Aegis caused way back? Cause if so, that's crazy. The body may die. Never the soul, which is merely passed on. Souls flow onward, born and reborn, forever part of the great ether stream. Why friends make grave here? Can we not take Bigipon home to village? He'd want to be buried where he fell. It is traditional amongst mercenaries. True warrior. A true warrior, Vandom was. I'm so sorry, Vanda. If only I hadn't listened to those people, you'd still be... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. No matter what, those guys would have tracked us down eventually. What matters is that Vandom saved all our lives. For now, let's just be grateful to him for that. <laughs> You're right. I won't forget your words, Vandam, ever. I'll fight my own war with Pyra. Are you all right? Yes. Good. I was worried that you might not. Wake up. Pyra. You know I've got to ask. That thing that happened yesterday. You called yourself Mithra? What? I... I am... 
I'd like to hear that too. That power, it wasn't normal. Yeah, it was crazy. Is that the true power of the Aegis? I think you owe us an explanation. It was pretty crazy. Tora want to know too. Pyro was super strong. Why so strong, huh? Now, now, don't pressure the girl. Well, uh, the thing is, I mean, uh oh. Oh, here we go. Pyra? Super Saiyan! Why? Whoa. Huh? Why did you wake me up? Huh? What? I didn't want to wake up. I didn't want to come back. I left everything to her so I'd never have to use that power again. But then you woke me up. What the fluff? Woke you up. If you hadn't been so useless, none of this would have happened. Oh my god. I wouldn't have had to use this power. Didn't you listen to that Fandam guy? He told you to hold back. He told you to run. But you just had to push yourself, idiot. Oh my god. Look where it's got us now. Calm down. You. You really messed up. You don't have to tell me that. I know, all right. I knew I was being an idiot. Rex. But I just... I couldn't hand you over to them. I wanted to keep you safe. Uh, what? Uh, at any rate, if you've got questions, you can ask her. I'm out of here. Bye. We were asking her and then you showed up. Okay. That's not fair. Everyone, I'm very sorry about all that. Why is Mithra gonna be so rude? God. Okay then. Malos and I are Aegises. Huh? Blades born with a terrible power. Strong enough to destroy the world. Malos is another Aegis. Whoa! Long ago, there was a man who climbed the world tree, hoping to make it to Elysium and meet his creator. But when he arrived at Elysium, he found it empty. So instead, as proof that he had reached that divine realm, he brought back two core crystals, Malos and me. And once he made it back to all rest, he awakened Malos. Why he did it, I can't say. For greed, for power, or perhaps when Malos awakened, he wielded his world-shaking power without restraint. To him, it was natural. He had never known anything else. Jeez. I was awakened by a driver who was determined to stop Malos's rampage. So Malos and I fought. I fought with all my might and succeeded in defeating Malos. Oh my god, that's a giant robot! Not without a price. Three great titans fell in the struggle. After the battle, I sealed myself away to ensure that power would never be unleashed again. I took the form you see now, and fell into a long slumber. That was 500 years ago. The Aegis War. The man who awakened Mithra was Adam, 
hero of the lost kingdom of Torna. Kingdom of Torna. Adam fought as Mithra's driver to protect the world from Malos. We Titans played our part in that battle too. It is our calling to live alongside humanity after all. Gramps. Adam hid Pyra's sleeping body inside a great ship and sunk her to the cloud sea's floor where none could abuse her power. So that day, that's the ship that we... That's how Pyra and I... I believe it was fate that we met each other. Otherwise, my sister would never have woken up. You call her your sister? Mithra and I used to talk together. In that dream of Elysium where you met me. We promised that when we were awakened again, we'd go home to the real Elysium. And then we would fulfill our real purpose. And that's defeating Malos again. So wait, did I miss something or how did Malos get back up? Did I swear I either I either missed something or they didn't explain something, but if they defeated Malos, then why is he still around? Did I I swear I missed something there. I honestly don't know. I got they defeated Malos. There was a giant robot. Uh we awoke Pyra on the ship, but when was it said that Malos came back? Either I'm completely blanking or they just didn't explain it. I'm probably completely blanking here. I'm very sorry about Mithra. She didn't mean all that. You have to understand, she came out because she wanted to protect you. She broke her own seal for you. Even used her power as the Aegis. The flame powers I use are just a shadow of her strength. Droplets of excess energy trickling through the seal. Don't worry about it. She was right. This was all my fault. I'm just glad... Hmm? ...that you finally managed to open up a little. Also, thank you for protecting everyone, I mean. Protecting? Me? Your powers are incredible. I could feel the truth behind the legends. I'm sorry. I... You apologize a lot. <laughs> you know that. I guess you still feel guilty about the Aegis's power, right? But I don't want you to have to apologize anymore. I hope I can help you move past that. No. I know I can. Rex, I... Power depends on the heart of its wielder. That's what Vandam said. That's why your power is the power to protect. The power to keep everyone safe and smiling. I want to do the same. I'm going to be the kind of driver who can protect you in turn. I promise. Make a girl cry, that's not going to fly. Dang! Make a girl smile, you pass the trial. Dang! That's the third rule of the Salvager Code. Yeah? Is he making this up or is this legit the Salvager's Code that exists somehow? <laughs> Rex, Rex! Can you help Tora with repairing a puppy, please? Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, yeah. What's for dinner tonight? How does meatball pot ofa sound? Delicious. Mmm, I can't wait. That smile, Rex, never loses his smile. And that's what keeps us all going. Reminds you of Adam, don't you think? Aww. Poor Pyra. I feel so bad for her. Gosh. 
That's the kind of stuff she was doing 500 years ago. So that explains, this explains why Malos looks so young, I guess, but like, they all are like, oh, I remember 500 years ago, that's what it was like. You know, but they were just dead blades. So then, how does Malos have a blade? Never mind, anyway. <laughs> What's this? Take it, and go to Indol. That dagger's owner will tell you how you can get to Elysium. Oh, Floof? This is a blade weapon, right? Who's its owner? The man who was once my driver. You're a blade? Driver? Huh? But then... Cold is a blade. Yo! We fought together in the Aegis War. Yes. His real name is Minoth. Blades not get old, though. Why Cole looks so old? Because I'm one of the cursed ones. A flesh eater. Flesh eater? <laughs> a flesh eater? A blade who has been fused with human cells. Whoa. A long time ago, before the war, some sought to test the limits of Blade's potential. I am a product of their experiments, one of the unlucky ones who was tainted by their folly. Why would ancient people do that? It seems that by combining Blade and human, it is sometimes possible to create Blades with extremely unique powers, but only very rarely. Most experiments were failures, and I was no different. <sighs> I gained nothing at all, and lost my immortality to boot. I likely won't last much longer. That's terrible. Grandpa. Poor guy. Before I go, I want to see where your path ends. That dagger will aid you. Will you do this for me? Of course. Oh, but can I ask you to do something too? Namely? I was wondering if you could write a play about Van Damme. Aww. About Vandom? Yeah. I think his story could inspire a lot of people. Aw, Rex. Once I find Elysium, I'll come see you again. Show it to me then. An interesting notion. Perhaps that is the least I can do. Very well. I'll do it. So see you make it back here in one piece. Understand? Absolutely. You have my word. Rex, you're awesome. All right, I don't care what anyone else says. Rex is awesome. What a cool guy. Gosh, Rex is so, like, considerate of certain people. Um, <laughs> Gramps. Gosh, why is he not? He's he's respectful to Vandom, the dude he knew. I'm sorry, but, like, Vandom is, like, the coolest Vandom so far. But, like, he's more respectful to Vandom than he was to Gramps, someone he's apparently known for most of his life or something. How long has he known Gramps? I don't know if that was ever explained. Anyway, that's my tangent. My small tangent. What is that? What is this place? And who is that? Is this guy gonna be... or this girl, I can't tell with fingernails these days. But like, is this person going to be the antagonist of this chapter or something? Or they're, they're just praising the world tree? Praising our lord world tree? Anyone else ever realize Xenoblade games are like always about religion in some way? Actually, Xeno games in general, if, we're, if Xeno Gears is anything to go by, I assume Xeno Saga is the same way. But like... They're all about, like, religion in some way, so far. You know, Xenoblade We. I honestly don't know if I can spoil Xenoblade We though, because... 
people are like, oh, this, this game isn't connected. So I guess I can't spoil Xenoblade. It was Xenoblade X, so it was like the whole... What were they even called? Xenoblade X was like so long ago, I cannot remember anything about Xenoblade X. <laughs> now to get to Indo, we need to... Rex. Zuo. Listen, um... Don't worry about us. You just carry on with your own journey. Is what I'd like to say, but could you come back to Garfra and speak to you for a few mo a moment first? There's something we need to talk to you about. Something the boss left behind. Something from Vandom. We'll give it to you. We'll give you the details once you get back to Garfront. Don't keep us waiting, yeah? All right. Oh, Vandom's last wish. We gotta do this for Vandom. We gotta. Yeah, of course. Active quest. Oh yeah. So I heard about this. Uh, that little thing that just showed up for a split second. We can now equip three blades per party member. <laughs> I can't zoom into his face, but I would be. I'm, I'm just menacingly laughing to boot. There we go. <laughs> All according to Keikaku. Anyway. <laughs> um. Yeah. Now we can a bond three blades. Also, um. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! Dude! Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh! Mm. Bro! We can have rock! That's nuts! Holy flu! I don't even remember what I was gonna say, but anyway. Why am I running? We can just fast travel. Also, w watch this, watch this. I'm going to press the fast travel button. Look at that. Look at look at that. Look at look at where it put us in the menu. It put us in the location that we currently are. Isn't that wonderful? The one time I didn't need that though. <laughs> the one time I actually wanted to um go somewhere else that wasn't our location. But yeah, they actually released an update for Xenoblade 2 um, yesterday at the time of recording this, Thursday at the time of uploading this, um, just... that basically it changes the fast travel system so that it automatically puts the menu where you are. And I think that's awesome. That is really awesome. The fast travel system is officially fixed! Thank God. <laughs> but they also added an easy mode to Tiger Tiger, which I might show off, honestly. It sounds interesting. I hope ho I hope that it, like, gives you the same amount of crystals because Tiger Tiger is a stressful game, guys. Oh my god. I've only shown it off once on video. I mean, on recording, but, like, yeah. Oh, what's this? You're all mine. Overdrive protocol. Okay. Alright. Anyway. You! You! <laughs> Ah, Rex, good to see you. Yeah, um, hi. Don't look so down. The boss left a message with me. To give you, if anything ever happened to him. A message from Vandom for me. You don't think... He knew he'd... Maybe. But if you ask me, I don't think he knew. It's just the kind of life our, us mercenaries live. You never know which day it might turn out to be your last. So it's not uncommon for us to leave messages like this just in case. Now listen up, because this is important. Rex, I leave the Garfront mercenaries in your hands. <gasps> wait, 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 we get, we get mercenaries? What? What? <laughs> he was like, mm, uh, is there anything else? Nope, that's your lot. Oh, well, thanks, Vanna. <laughs> what? <laughs> Leaving it to me, that's a joke, right? This is no joke, kid. It's Vanum through and through. He says what he means. No less, no more. Well, I mean, I won't deny it's simple, but why would he ask me to? The boss thought a lot of you, kid, and I think you start accord with the rest of us, too. You're an honest, straightforward guy with plenty of nerve and resolve. And give us all hope. I don't think I can really take all the credit for any of that. Maybe not, but there's something about you, kid. Everyone feels it. So tell me, Rex, will you do as the boss asks? I mean, I guess we kind of have to. <laughs> Alright, I'll do it. Strong words, well said. Nothing less from the guy old Vandom staked his hopes in. But, um, what exactly would I have to do as the band's leader? 
You said you don't have any other messages from Vanum, right? Nope. He's a man of few words. But of course, you'll have me and Zuo to help you out. We couldn't ask you to suddenly handle all our operations on your own. You just dole out big general orders from now on. You can count on us to take care of the details. And then, I guess we'll show you how things go from there. Okay, I guess I can probably handle that. Right, and let's start by explaining how things work around here. Our little band takes on all kinds of assignments from all across all rest. From escort missions, escort, ew, <laughs> to clearing out monsters, down to gathering materials, sometimes even smaller things. But tell me, Rex, I get the feeling you've got more blades than you know what to do with. Am I wrong? <laughs> totally not looking at all my commons that I keep getting, heck no. If you got blades sitting around doing nothing, you can assign them to carry out missions as part of the band. It'll be good experience for them, and you'll reap the rewards to boot. Tell you what, it'll be quicker to explain if you try it out for yourself. Go ahead, choose a mission and try clearing it. Alright! Alright, the Merc Group menu is now available. Access from Main Menu and Merc Group. Alright. That is the fast travel button. <laughs> oh my god, no, no, let me out! <laughs> Alright. Alright. There it is, last part of the menu. Alright, so what do we got in Araya? First mission. Time required, one minute. Nice. Yo, we can send out all of our blade, Except we can't, no. Where's Umi? Yo, Umi! Yo, yo, I still like you. We need... Okay. We can literally just send Umi and no one else. Um... Floof, I don't know. What if I want bonus EXP? I don't know. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Squad name Team Umi. I like this name. Never forget Umi. All right. She's all over this, guys. Oh shoot! Look at all those commons. Just remember to have fun. Remember to have fun. Okay. So now what? Now what? That is the fast travel button. Okay, game. Okay, we're still going. Okay, okay. So, how are y'all doing today? <laughs> um. Wait until the Merc mission is finished. Okay, so does it tell me when it's finished? So, uh. I just walked through that rope. Hold up. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a rope boy. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, so, uh, Nia, how goes your day? Are you are you feeling Nia today? You, you feeling more Nia than usual? I can tell you I'm feeling more Rex than usual. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, there we go! So what do we get? Thanks for getting it done. Oh shoot! Nice. All right. I just keep on getting better. I don't care. Okay. Oh no no no! Don't make me go through all of these guys. No, I I'm never gonna use any of you. I'm just gonna be fully honest. I am never going to use any of you, Minazuki. Calm down, please. Oh my god. Isuzu, Isuzu. Oh my god. I'm never gonna use you. Shishi. You were the butt of one joke. I don't need you. You know, if I ever get any more rares, we could like do a bunch of rares in one mission. Oh, that'd be fun if I just. Does that work if the game's turned off? I'm curious. Okay. Anyway. Alright, so let's go back to you. Was like you complete the wreck. The, the, I was gonna say the wreckion. Nice work, Mish. <laughs> was like you created. You com completed the mission. Good work, Rex. Oh, Merc Group One, Rank One, Max Number of Common Blades. Oh, nice. Wonderful. I love my max number of commons going up. Anyway, as you complete missions, it'll build our band repertoire. A reputation. Gosh, I cannot read today. I when can I ever read though? The higher our reputation gets, the more missions we'll get. 
And it also lets you manage more blades at a time. Sounds like a good thing all around. This time you, sh you set up a mission for me, but how should I find more in the future? Well, let's see. Send a few missions your way ourselves. Aside from that, you can ask around town and see if anyone needs help. There are plenty of people out there with troubles that need solving. Might be a good idea for you to go back and see how things are in the Argentum of Gormod. Or Garmod, too. Alright. I'll have to remember that. Oh yeah, I have one more piece of advice for you. Different missions have different requirements, and each blade has strengths and weaknesses, too. If you pay attention to the makeup of your squad, you might be able to get the job done quicker. Think about everyone's strengths and weaknesses to get missions done efficiently. Got it. Sounds like you're getting the idea. For now, just try to complete as many missions as you can. Once you're used to that, we'll see what else you can do. I'll be wanting to give you a test, so drop by Garfron once in a while. I have to take tests even though I'm the leader? Oh, and remember, whenever you have blades going spare, don't hesitate to assign them to a bunch of missions. We don't- we aren't going to run out of missions anytime soon. The world is full of folk who need a little mercenary help. Helping people in need. So this is what Vandom devoted his life to. I'll have to work hard and make this a mercenary band he'd be proud of. That's the spirit, Rex. We're all counting on you, so keep it up. Alright! So now what? Gotta fulfill Vandom's last wish. He just wanted us- He just wanted us to take over his job, man! Gotta make- Make it a great group and honor his memory. Heck yeah, we're gonna do that. I reckon the quickest route is... Back to Argentum. Ship to Moradain. Then on to the Praetorium. If we're lucky, there'll be a guild ship at the port. Can't say no to a free ride. Let's go and see. It doesn't cost anything? Salvagers can board guild ships for free. I'll negotiate for you guys, too. That would be big help! Why don't we just say they're salvagers? I mean, Tora looks like he could be a salvager. <laughs> looks like he'd become the leader of the Garfont. The Garfont. I've been saying Garfront, haven't I? Mercenaries, congratulations. Let's take a moment to go over what you just told us. Merc comes back to field requests. Okay, I'm just not even going to read out loud for this. Missions! Uh-huh. Yes. Alright, make sure that you build the right team for the job. Uh-huh. Eh, you should be able to figure out what skills you have. Yeah, I gotta look carefully. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. I read fast, guys. The thing is, I cannot speak. That is my problem. I literally cannot speak out loud. It is so difficult. Alright. I don't care about all those blades. I'm never going to use them. God! Anyway. <laughs> um, what am I looking for? Yeah, yeah. Not this. Okay. Charming, don't you think? Nice. Nice. All right. All right. So now what? New work mission. Whoa! Oh my. Oh. Oh. Okay. You can. You can stop now. I said you can stop now, sir. How long is it gonna keep going off? Every time it goes off, my Joy-Cons vibrate. Oh my god. I'm, I'm... Sweet release. Anyway. <laughs> Alright. Huh. This is not what I heard. I heard that at the beginning of chapter 4, we would be able to bond the Beastly Core Crystal. And I was going to do that so we could actually get wrecked a third blade, since I was told what class it would be. I was told the Beastly Core Crystal turns into an attacker. So I was going to use it. Oh well. Wait, wait, where are we going? Hold up. Speak to Chair Ch 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 Chimomo <laughs> at Fonts of Maya Port to depart for Argentum. Alright. Yeah, I can do that. What am I doing? I'm trying to fast- my brain is like half working, half not right now. Alright. Let's fast travel. Alright. 
And the right. That is the closest place. Huh. <sighs> Alright. Let's go honor Vanham's memory, dudes. We're here. So, shall we? Shall we indeed? Hey, wait a minute. I saw something when I was making the intro to last episode, and funny thing is, I was actually um, planning to make that intro without even realizing I made a Metal Gear reference in the episode, but I planned to make the intro before the, um, the I recorded the episode. Anyway, I looked, I looked back at these stairs and found out there is a way to go all the way down the stairs instead of just to go all the way up. So watch this. Oh, this is going to be cool. All right, hold up. I want to do something cool. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god, this is gonna be so cool. Please let this work. Please let this work. Oh my god. Please. 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 Oh my god, no, 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 no. Huh! Dang it, I was gonna like catapult myself all the way over there. I'm mad. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to go to Font Samima. There we go. I thought I could, like, do, like, a catapult thing, like, with this game and its jump physics. Because I don't know how its jump physics work yet. I know Xenoblade has really wacky ice and jump physics, so I thought that could apply to here, too. But I guess we'll never know, guys. So find out next week on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, down there. Alright. We could find the stairs, or we could just do this. Whee! Alright. All in one piece, indeed, Pyra. That's the attitude I like. <sighs> Why is Mithra gotta be so mean, though? Like, I know she doesn't want to use that power, but, like, God, she's so mean. She sounds so mean, at least. The ship bound for Goldmouth, Argentum. Salvagers ride for free. Yes, we shall board the ship. Okay, we set out now. Here we go. So is our ship just, like, dead? Is our Titan just dead? Where did he go? <laughs> Where did our Titan go? Friggin' Tora's uncle made us that ship and we just lost it. Poor guy. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is the trade guild, isn't it? Right? I hope. It looks like it, yep. Hey, it's Rex! Rex come back alive? Rex have many sidekicks now. <laughs> the little celebrity, aren't we? Well, you know, I've been trading here for a while. Anyway, I'll find us a ride to the Empire. You guys go on ahead to the inn. Sounds good. See you around then. Oh, is we going to shift our party around? Oh, I don't know yet. Okay, so ships to the Ar Danian Empire should be up. Oh, there goes that no pun. You're gonna lock at me too? Yeah. Ah, that's what I thought, you floofer. Anyway, so ships to Ardanian Empire should be leaving for Goldmouth flight deck on the fourth floor. I think there's a reception desk there where I should be able to find one, or charter one. Time to get moving. So is this gonna shuffle our party? Oh, it is. This cannot be good. <laughs> you guys know, whenever there's... You gotta be wary, alright? Whenever there's a JRPG and there's a part of the game where they shuffle your party, something is probably going to happen while your party is shuffled and no one's around. Just saying, we are probably... Actually... What about Banna, huh? Whatever happened to him? Is he still around? Can I go punch him in the face? The floofer? Trying to wake up the ages? He had something to do with this! He had something to do with all this. I swear. I swear! I'm sorry if I make fun of the way Mia says swear so much, but it's like... She swears, guys. She doesn't swear, she swears. I don't know, I like the way she says it. I'm not trying to sound mean. I really like the way, I think it's adorable. But like, I don't know, anyway. Fl <laughs> Flight Mouth Gold Deck, yep, that's what I meant to say. What is this? Ooh, plants! What do we got? Got some melons, okay. I was not expecting that, but okay. All right, murmur. I'm looking, to, I'm looking aboard a ship headed for more Ardane. Have you got any space free? Not to worry, friend. Plenty space. You're traveling alone? Uh... <laughs> roughly six people, I'd say. Meh, meh, meh. That big group. 
however, a special discount for group travel. Let everyone board as much as like for a total of 4,000 G. I'm a, salvage, I'm a salvager, by the way. I can travel for free, can't I? Ah, remember not realize. In that case, I make discount that come to 3,000 G. Wait, so we can go for free? Meh meh? How many is they coming on board? Six. Maybe more. And how many of them salvagers? Just me. Which mean how many non-salvagers? Quite a lot. Then should pay 3,000 G. Remember, sorry, me big hearted but have limits to kindness. Yeah, sure. Thanks kindly. Let Remember know when friends are ready to board and we set off ship ship shape shippity shape ship shape. Argentum no pond drive a hard bargain. It was way easier to get a discount in Araya. Ah well, I should back to the enemy up with the others. Alright. There's six of us going, but we only got one ticket. What in tarnation? Anyway. Uh oh, oh, okay. <sighs> Argentum. I like the word Argentum. I want to go in there. Why? Why? Why is it saying I can go in there? There's got to be something. All right, we can jump down there. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Huh. We kind of made it. <laughs> We, all, we almost made it, sort of, kind of, not really. <sighs> Sweet. <laughs> anyway. Right, so it looks like we're heading out tomorrow. Everyone, make sure you're ready by then. Understood. Affirmative. Affirmative. There's the meme! That's where I got the meme from! There was this cutscene going around Twitter. I didn't see a cutscene, I just saw a gif and a picture, and I saw it was Pyra drinking tea. And I saved the picture, and I used the picture constantly on Twitter. Okay, anyway. The tea here is lovely. You can find quality goods here from all around, Walrus. You like the place? Yes. If there's time before we leave, I think I'll have another cup later. Mmm. <sighs> Feels so good to rest in a proper inn after a long voyage. Yeah, it's good to be on familiar shores again. Yeah! Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. He's got a cute little hat! Dromark's got a sleeping cat. Uh. Oh, uh oh, 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 hello. Um, oh dear. No, <laughs> oh no. Why did you change yeah. forms? How did you? What? What are you doing in my bed? Wait. Uh. Ah! Get out! Uh. <laughs> oh my God! In my room, the guys' room. See? I can't believe it. I did it again. What the fluff? I am such an. Idiot! <laughs> hmm. Is this what they call sleepwalking? You were staring. Huh? Pervert! It's kind of hard not to stare when you're in the same bed at eye level and, like, he just happens to look down. God, you were the one in his bed. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's certainly exposing an awful lot of skin. Exactly. What? Meat kettle. <laughs> Would you care to explain what that is supposed to mean, my good sir? <laughs> Have you looked in a mirror recently? I never understood that saying either, though. Could he like explain it to me too? Anyway. 
Hi, Pyra. You can clearly see her hair's red. She's not Mithra. Good morning. Listen, about earlier. I'm sorry about Mithra. She gets very confused when she's just woken up. Uh, I see. It didn't get violent, did it? No. Oh, it did. I didn't do anything weird. Not a thing. No. <laughs> it was more Mithra I was worrying about. Oh, right. <laughs> My god. But she did throw a thing or two. Gave me brain damage, no big deal. Oh no. So that was where that came from. I'm sorry. Did it hurt a lot? No, not at all. Really, I'm fine. Are you sure? Honestly, my head is still a little painful. Oh, they have the same wounds. Oh my god. To be young again. Indeed, indeed. We need a little romance in our lives too, eh? <laughs> I'm quite alright. Oh! Why do they keep looking at each other after all their con- I like this bro. This bro relationship between Azurda and Dromark. I love the bro relationship. You know, we're both two fluffy animals, you know, we can- we can have those bro talks. I know one of them's like 300 years old, but still. <laughs> yeah, it's Morag! Was that an excited squeal or a worried squeal? I don't even know. But who cares, it's Morag. The girl. It's your girl. Common. <laughs> yes. I have returned from my assignment, Your Majesty. Welcome back, Morag. You too, Bridget. I'm honored. It is good to see you again, Bridget. You look well, too, Ijean. Your eyes are closed. How can you see him? Huh? I want to know. So this Aegis truly was the genuine article. Indeed. And the boy? From his garments, he appeared to be a young salvager. I would be most interested in meeting him. That can be arranged. We have received reports of an attack on a ship headed for the Praetorium. A transport vessel? Yes, carrying a cargo of core crystals. Oh, shoot. Core crystals. Torna's work, then. Was that when we saw a general here? According to a lucky survivor, the culprit was a masked man. Oh, it was definitely Jin. Jin. It must have been him. Dang, everyone knows Jin. This is the third time. From what I hear, Urian vessels have also suffered significant damage. My sincere apologies. This is all my fault, Your Majesty. I let that torn girl off lightly. I should have interrogated her more. You set the captive loose because you felt it necessary, did you not? That is enough for me. Besides which, if this really is the doing of that masked man, I doubt he would have been stopped, even by an army 5,000 strong. We have more pressing issues to consider. Such as? The Senate have independently resumed the excavation of Judicium. The pro-war faction, Senator Roderick. The loss of those core crystals must have made them restless. Judicium is a very delicate region. It would be unwise to provoke Uriah. I understand your meaning. If the Senate make any unsavory moves, we can take action. I'm counting on you, dear sister. 
Thanks, we got the military dude siblings here. Okay. Morag's cool, okay? I like her. She's cool. A cool gal. I don't know. I really like her design. I like her attitude. I like her her character so far. She's really cool. Alright. Where did she to the Ardanian Empire leave from again? Goldmouth flight deck is up on the fourth floor. Alright, gotcha. Shall I get moving then? Ardenian Empire sounds so grand. Tor cannot wait to see what like. Alright. There we got people back in the party. And nothing bad happened. Alright. Anyway. Where are we going? This way. I want to know what's behind that door. What is behind this door? Uh, let me see if I can uh, hold up. Alright, so... We can just... We can just, uh... Uh, floof. Oh, 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 oh. Hold up, so if we can just... Oh my god, what? Oh no, oh no. I could just, I could just not get us all killed. You know, no biggie. <laughs> I could just not get us all killed. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Or, you know, I, I totally could. T I totally could. No, I'm not. I'm done trying to get over there. Oh, whatever. Anyway, let's just go to this ship and see what awaits us. This episode has mostly been story, and I'm completely fine with that. Always fine with the story. This light. What is it? Locke's core crystal. It's <gasps> like a stone. What happened? Don't you remember, Rex? Vanham told you. Core crystals don't die. They always regenerate after a while. Regenerate? Ready to be reawakened by a new driver. So, if I resonated with it now... Then a new rock would be born into this world. A new rock? A new rock? Vandom's blade. What do? I'm not sure. Taking Vandom's old partner. It just doesn't feel right. I agree. Yeah. But maybe he would have wanted you to do it. That Just could be. Right. Dang, Nia. Probably time we headed for the ship, right? Oh, yeah. I'll go ahead and register us for boarding. Nia, do we really need to rush? Sure, we could take our time and miss out on the good seats. Oops. Whoa. Ow. Whoa. What was that kid's problem? Rex! Your bag! Huh? No. No. No! What have you lost now? Rock's core crystal. It's not here. Oh, fluke. You need a little blighter. After him. At once. Titan's foot. Why do they always say Titan's foot? I swear they've been saying that a lot and I just haven't been noticing. Alright, anyway... Uh, why is the camera automated? Okay, there we go. Fluven stole Rock's core crystal. Okay, then, game. Silly me. Who uses the stairs? We don't need stairs! Um, maybe we do, maybe we do, maybe we do. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Gosh darn Floofer. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd this dude go? That little thief looked pretty young, right? Yeah. And those ears. Gormotti for sure. So let's see. There, that's the brat. Whoa! What do you think you're doing? Um. Why, that little... He stole the old ship. What now? Let's go. Are there any other... There's one! Who you steal that boat? Hey, Rex! What's the big hurry? Let me a boat! What? I mean, sure, but why? There was a pickpocket. Took our core crystal. Over there! Over there? Hold it! 
Bring that ship back here! Why, that's Pittman's ship! Your thief's on board that thing! Please? All right, then. The key's in the slot, so you can take her right out. Thanks. I'll bring her back as soon as I can. No worries. Go get him, Rex. Oh my god, can we Skies of Arcadia this thing? Can we have a, can we have a boat battle? I want a boat battle. So bad. Dude, how cool would that be? Can please? Please? I want a boat battle. I want this to become Skies of Arcadia 2. I don't care. I want Skies of Arcadia 2 in some way. Please, model it. How cool would it be if we had free travel over all the clouds? How cool would that be? Oh, or, you know, we're just suddenly back in here. Uh, Torgoth. That the shit! Yeah, no doubt about it. This is where he got off. He may still be somewhere nearby. Right, then let's ask around and see what we can find. Good plan. Alright. Stop. Thief. Received. Alright, yeah, so there's active quest. Alright. Oh my, not this again. <sighs> See Gormati boy around here? He's stealing stuff. I saw him. Just as the ship was docking, he ran up the stairs in a terrible hurry. I thought he wasn't a familiar face from around here, but I'm afraid I couldn't tell you much about him beyond that. Alright. Uh, floof. Uh, floof. Uh, floof. Uh, floof. Um... Oh, whoa, 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 you can like zoom in now? Oh, that's neat. Okay. Did you see Gormani boy who took important thing from Rex Rex? Oh, yes, Hana Hana C boy. Very scruffy boy when running up staircase very, very quick. Hana Hana seen lots of country, but all country have some child like that. More ordain, Uriah, even Indol. Gap of rich and poor exist everywhere. Very sad state. Oh, friends chasing after boy who get back stolen thing? Should always keep valuables carefully. Oh my gosh, shush. Be more careful in the future. Yeah, from talking to my friends and getting uh, pickpocketed. Yeah, I'll be way more careful. Why is the game lagging? This is lag. Oh my god. Is it the rain? Is it because of the rain right now? I don't want the game to crash on me. I have heard so much about Xenoblade 2 crashing. I do not want that to happen to me. No, no, it's still, <laughs> it's still raining. Floof. Um... Come on, I don't want the game to crash on me, god. You see a Gromani boy- oh my god, the game is lagging so hard. You see a Gromani boy come running from this way from the port. I did see a boy head over towards the farm. Was he the one you're after? What is Nia doing? <laughs> I feel like this city's getting less safe recently. There was that nasty incident not so long ago, too, with the water outage. Uh, we know nothing about that. Torgoth has the biggest Ardanian base in the whole Gormont, you know. In other regions, the Ardanians don't have quite as much- Nia, what are you doing? They don't have quite as much influence. I just worry about the future is all. Much thanks. Yeah, we had nothing- we had known nothing about that water outage. I can assure you, we- we were not in the vicinity at all. We- I don't know what you're talking about. That's awful, sir. I saw a treasure. Treasure acquired. There we go. Oh, that was some boosters right there. Ooh. Where are we going? Where? Uh... I don't understand. <laughs> okay, there we go. Millie. You see, Gormani boy? Oh my god, Dromar, calm down. Nope. I didn't see nobody. I was busy with my work, so I wasn't really looking at all. He could have he could have come this way though. Try asking someone else. Okay. One more person to ask. Level one. Level one what? Why does he have an enemy thing over his head? He's just a good little armu. He's a good boy. -o. Don't wanna hurt the good boy. -o. Gosh, rude game. Don't put a marker over his head. Nugby. I like that name. You're playing tag or something, right? I probably shouldn't help you then. Oh my god. Uh, no. That kid's a thief. Alright, he must be the one Otto was telling me about. Toro, more info. Otto the woodcutter keeps telling me he saw this boy hanging around outside of town. 
He always tells them to come back into town because it's not safe outside, but the boy just runs off. That's about all I know, though. Maybe you should ask Otto himself? You should find him over at Naklia Timber Site. Take care now. Thanks! Alright, so where are we going here? Going this way. That's a long way away. Okay. And that is not the fast travel button. Uh... He doesn't seem like he's in Toragoth. Not there, either. There he is! Haven't we been here? This is when I was getting stressed with that one quest, right? I'm pretty sure. Oh god, no, 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 no. Don't make me climb the tree again. Oh my gosh, please no. Don't make me climb the tree again! There has to be a way up this tree, right? No? Okay! I guess we're gonna climb again, guys. This is depressing. I, I just want rock back. Oh, we can definitely get up that way. Actually, wait, he's right this- he's right there. Okay, Crux is averted. Did friend see Gormati boy who took important thing from Rex Rex? Oh yeah, I definitely saw that kid. Nimble little brighter. He Nimble little blighter he is though. Gets away from me every time. <laughs> now this I have to hear. I was just doing my work here, same as usual, when I heard footsteps coming from behind me. So I turn around and who do I see but that boy? I called him out to stop, but he ran off even faster than usual. Nia, what are you doing? <laughs> if you ask me, that kid's not from Torgoth. Ain't no Torgoth kids with the guts to come all the way out here. Afraid I couldn't tell you where he'd be headed. Mind. I'm too busy here to be chasing after kids all day. Seeing as you've got blades with you, maybe you could track, try, tra try tracing this boy's tracks? It was raining from... It was raining when he ran through here, so if you follow his tracks, you might be able to find out where he went. Much thanks. A branching quest has begun. As the name suggests, this quest can be cleared in more than one way. First up, when you check the footprints. If you resonate with a blade that has the right skill for the job, then you'll get through here quite easily. But if you don't have a blade like that in your arsenal, then you should speak to Otto. He'll give you a hint towards the way to the goal. I don't believe we have a way to track that. Where are his footprints? Where am I going here? There we go. No, we have no one like that. Okay. Let's, uh, talk to Otto, then. Oh, come on, don't tell me. You can't even, you can't even follow tracks. Are you drivers or what? Well, excuse me, sir. It's such perfect timing for the rain. They're bleeding obvious to anyone who works in a forest like me. But I guess you're amateurs when it comes to forests, so I can't blame you. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, shall I show you how it's done? I'd be interested to find out where the boy has got to as well. Oh well, yeah, of course. Take a long, good look at the ground. Footprints in the wet dirt, pieces of grass stuck to the ground. Look out for anything that seems unnatural. If they're spaced evenly, those will be the tracks you're after. What do you think? You see it now? Pretty impressive. Much thanks. Oh, now it just shows us. Okay. Now it's just gonna straight up show us. Okay. Yeah, I could not be able to see those if I didn't talk to him, I guess. But suddenly now we can see the dude's footprints? Okay, game. <laughs> hey, what do you say we play a prank on this nose gogol? <laughs> Dang, I thought I could knock him off the cliff. That's lame. Alright, anyway. Wouldn't that be a fun way to wake him up just knock him right off the cliff? First combat we've done this whole episode, by the way. Anyway. <laughs> Alright. Uh, uh, uh. Alright. Uh, 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 uh. Let's do some combo. Let's do some combo. Why not? What can we do here? Why is Pyra at the bottom now? That's odd. And that was a bad cancel attack. Yeah. 
All right. Woot! Now, Nia, if you could charge up, that would be wonderful. Please. What is she doing? Where did she go? Oh, there's Tromark. Oh, now he's dead. Except that one is coming for us? Oh, God. We just started a war. Heck, I'm out. Anyway. Back to this. <laughs> Alright. I just wanted to prank that one nose Google. I wasn't trying to start a fight. Wait. Is this showing us where to go? I assume so. I think. Yeah. I guess it is. Where's it going? Is he going down to... Um... um uh, Udon's place? Whatever his name is? What's his name? Udon? Upper level left. Yes, it is! This is fast travel. Let's not waste time looking at footprints. Oh, there we- okay. This is where the track's at. But this is... Was he trying to get another ship to hightail it somewhere? Okay, video games. <sighs> well, okay. He should be in Udon's place, I guess. If we're on the right track, he should be around you. Yeah. Thief using Uman's workshop as hideout. Uman, God, I keep getting his road mixed up with Udon. I never dream of such a thing. Taking Uncle Udon as hostage. Uh, Uman, God. SMH. Um. That's him. Let's surround them so he can't run. Gotcha. Where would he even run? Ah, oh, you lot. Kid, you sure led us on a merry chase. You've wasted a lot of our time, you know. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Look at you. You're only kids. Why don't you just give back what you took? We'd rather not hurt you or anything. You're basically a kid yourself. Okay, right, let's fight him. I love you know I work for a living. Right. Hand it over. No, no you're not having it. <whistles> um... They have a trained squad of birds. The core crystal is ours now. If you want it so bad, you'll have to take it by force. Jeez, okay. Well, nothing for it, I guess. All right, let's go. Okay. Let's fight the birds, Latolo Puffot. Oh my god, that's a, those are a lot of rare enemies. Wow. Let's topple the bird. Hypothetically, if we get one of them over the cliff, we can topple them off the cliff. They are not strong at all, though. Okay. That's depressing. Oh, I was gonna do a cancel. Dang it. Yeah. Whoa. Alright. Let me just get this stuff so it doesn't fly away, and alright. Okay. I still have the weapon, Pyra. Calm down. Well, we took it by force. Just like you wanted us to. <sighs> Titan's foot. You're all barely <laughs> ten years old. Does he keep saying Titans? Why are you stealing from people? <sighs> Look, keeping your traps shut won't help anyone. My lady, be a little more gentle. Why? They're only petty thieves. Be that as it may, they are still children. Look, 
I'm sure there's a reason you're doing all this. Are you just that hard up? What do you take us for? We're not some poor beggars. Okay. So it's not money you're after? Then what the hell is it they want? You should just tell everything. Rex Rex not hurt you. <sighs> Come on. We want revenge. Revenge? revenge. We're gonna avenge our village. You don't mean... You were planning to awaken this blade and use it? Well, why don't you tell us the whole story? We might be able to help. Bandits attacked your village? It was just a small, peaceful village. But the bad men... Just because we had water, they... Did anyone survive? Don't tell me. You're the only ones? Ah, oh, jeez. What's your name? Me? Why do you want to know? I want to help you! Please, kid. It's Reese. From Cordell Village. Cordell Village? Can't say a word of it. It's just a tiny village on the outskirts of Gormot. Not many people know it. Okay, Reese. I get why you did this. But still, it's not right to steal from people. Besides which, awakening a blade is dangerous. Yeah, we saw some dude die <laughs> awakening a blade earlier. You never know until you try. Long as one of us manages it, that's all that matters. Sounds like you really were desperate, my boy. I assume you know the whereabouts of these bandits? There's a big cave over on Twin Trunks Hill. They use it as a hideout. Oh, Reese, it's awful! Those scum are gonna... <gasps> Who are they? Don't worry about them. What's the matter? Right. Okay. The bandits are planning to attack Turrigal. Oh, shoot! Are you sure? Yeah, we overheard one of their men talking about it in the city just now. And it was definitely one of them. It looked like they were scouting the place out. They were saying with the console gone, now's the perfect chance to take advantage. A shrewd observation. This would indeed be the perfect time to mount an attack. Are you trying to tell me that idiot console was actually good for something? So, this all our fault? Because we took out that dude Dougal or whoever? Yeah. I guess we might have been the trigger. Ah, oh, jeez. We can't sit by and let this happen. Agreed. Right. You lot, you can leave those nasty bandits to us. What? I swear, we'll avenge your village. But... Don't worry. Well, how about this dude, Reese? Don't worry, dudes. Alright. <sighs> By the way, name's Rex. Reese, take the others and go warn the city guard. Warn them about the bandits? Nah, they probably wouldn't believe you if you said bandits were coming. So tell them about us instead. Tell them the guys who destroyed the water tower are hiding out at Twin Trunks Hill. Oh, shoot! If you say so, but why? Don't worry, you'll see. We're counting on you, okay? Okay. Because they're going to be on high alert if we're the ones. So can we, act can we actually reactivate rock now? That is the wrong button! Gosh darn it, why do I keep- I just like the map system so much now, guys. I keep accidentally using it. Anyway... We still cannot activate them. Okay. Anyway. 
that would be it for this episode of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. Leave a comment on anything you thought this episode down below and subscribe for more Xenoblade 2. Next time we will go... Nia, what the actual floof? There is no bug in the air, girl. Calm down. Stop. Anyway, next time we will head to the hideout just inside Boulder Gate in Twin Trunks Hill. Yep, I read all that in my head. Out loud. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, next time, we will go stop the bandits, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, that'll be for this episode. Thank y'all again for watching. I'm Sir Key 3 signing off. Peace out, my little keychains. And, good night! Uh.